single flower the stalk of a flower will be called as pedicel so what are the types of racemous inflorescence one is called simple raceme the other one is called as spike then catkin and what is umbel here the peduncle is comparatively short and the flowers are born at the tip of the peduncle in clusters which have pedicels of almost equal length stalk of a single flower is called pedicel the stalk of a bunch of flowers or cluster of flowers may we use the word called inflorescence is called as peduncle hello dear students welcome back to session 8 of this interesting chapter called morphology of flowering plants myself b shobarani from the department of biology vidyashram pre university college the temple of excellence hope you remember in the last session we learned about leaf that is we learned about phyllotaxy and about the leaf modifications hope you remember the uh, nepenthes the pitcher plant and the sandhu plant and the venus fly trap so those three were the examples classical examples for insectivorous plants as i said why does a leaf become uh, an insectivorous it is one of the leaf modification and as i said why does a leaf undergo modification to serve some special function moving on to the today uh, today's session what am i going to deal with in today's session a very very interesting concept called inflorescence i think all of you might have seen flowers flower is the beauty of this nature who does not like flowers but have you ever made observations that sometimes the flowers are found in singles and sometimes the flowers are found in bunches or what we otherwise call it as clusters bunch of flowers don't you like to have a bunch of flowers to have a look at the bunch of flowers definitely that is what is inflorescence the bunch of flowers or the cluster of flowers is called inflorescence and i think hope you remember uh, the the leaf bearing stalk of a flower is called as what pedicel here the uh, in flower the bunch of flowers are born on a stalk called peduncle there it is called as pedicel the stalk of a flower is called pedicel here the stalk of an inflorescence is called peduncle so this two very important things you have to understand so in a single flower the stalk of a flower will be called as pedicel but in inflorescence the stalk of a flower is called as peduncle now let us see exactly what is this inflorescence as i said what is inflorescence inflorescence is nothing but the mode of arrangement of flowers on the floral axis and what is that floral axis otherwise called it is called peduncle and that mode of arrangement of flowers on the floral axis called peduncle is called inflorescence or let me explain it in a very simple form the bunch of flowers the cluster of flowers born on the floral axis of a, a plant body is called as inflorescence or what is it otherwise uh, defined arrangement of single or many flowers on a common axis actually it is many flowers on a common peduncle is called inflorescence so i repeat what is an inflorescence inflorescence is nothing but the mode of arrangement of flowers on the floral axis called peduncle or it is the arrangement of many flowers on a common axis called peduncle is called inflorescence as i said stalk of a single flower stalk of a single flower stalk of a single flower is called pedicel but stalk of an inflorescence stalk of an inflorescence is called peduncle kindly remember this these two words pedicel is stalk of a single flower what is peduncle stalk of cluster of flowers is called as peduncle so here you can see this is called as peduncle and this is called as pedicel here you can see this is called as peduncle and this is called as pedicel hope you have understood what is the difference between a pedicel and a peduncle now what are the two types of let us study the classification of inflorescence there are two types of inflorescence namely one is called the racemous inflorescence the other one is called the cymos inflorescence so racemous inflorescence is also called as indefinite inflorescence indefinite or it is also called indeterminate inflorescence this is called definite 
or determinate determinate inflorescence so what is what are the two types of inflorescence there are two types of inflorescence one is called racemose inflorescence the other one is called cymose inflorescence racemose inflorescence is called as indefinite or indeterminate uh, inflorescence also whereas cymose inflorescence is called as what definite or determinate type of inflorescence why it is called indefinite here you can see the main axis never ends with a flower here can you see it is not ending with a flower here the main axis ends with a flower so here you can see the main axis will be ending with the flower there it is that is why it is called what indefinite indeterminate it continues so the main axis of a flower will not end with a flower here it is going to end with a flower now let us study one by one what are the two types uh, that is a racemose type of inflorescence and cymose type of inflorescence right moving on to the racemose uh, inflorescence as i said racemose inflorescence is also called as what indefinite or indeterminate what do you call the stalk of an inflorescence peduncle you have to remember this now let us see what are the features of this racemose inflorescence with a classical example here you can see the beautiful flower right you have you ever seen this is usually uh, uh, you can see this flowers in the month of may it is usually called may flower right so in the month of may it, it it blooms so now let us see what is this racemose inflorescence here peduncle shows indefinite growth as i said the peduncle shows indefinite growth so the, the main axis of a flower the floral axis called peduncle will not end with a flower so peduncle shows indefinite growth and usually peduncle do not end in a flower as i said the main axis this is called the main axis main axis or it is also called as what peduncle so this will not end with a flower if at all it ends with a flower it will be called a cymose inflorescence if it doesn't if it does not end with a flower then it is called as racemose inflorescence so what is the first very important feature of a raceme this is also very important from examination point of view what is uh, inflorescence the mode of arrangement of flowers on the floral axis called peduncle is called inflorescence what are the two types of inflorescence one is called racemose inflorescence the other one is called cymose inflorescence racemose inflorescence is also called as what indefinite type of inflorescence or it is also called as indeterminate type of inflorescence what are the features of racemose inflorescence first one you can see the peduncle the main what is peduncle the main floral axis uh, which bears the cluster of flowers or a bunch of flowers is called as peduncle and here the peduncle does not end with a single flower and it continues so it shows indefinite growth so usually peduncle do not end in a flower older flowers are at the base and younger flowers are at the top here you can see the older flowers will be at the base what do i mean by older flowers the flowers which bloom first buds are called younger flowers the flowers which bloom first is called as older flowers and the flowers which bloom later that is the young buds they are called as uh, younger flowers right here I, i'll show you once again see this is called young flower and this is called older flower so you can see here from base to apex this is called apex and this is called base and this arrangement of flowers from base to apex that is from base to apex means what older flowers are at the bottom and the younger flowers are at the top and this is called acropetal succession this mode of arrangement is called acropetal succession hope i am clear right so i repeat once again what is acropetal succession where the older flowers are at the base and the younger flowers are at the top so the mode of arrangement will be like from what the from base to apex opposite apex to base is called centripetal acropetal means what from base to apex so from from near the base you can see the older flowers what do you mean by older flowers the flowers which bloom 
first what do you mean by anga flask the flask which will bloom later that is also very important point so older flask are at the base and anga flask are at the top then development of flask is in acropetal succession the order of opening of flask is centripetal from the periphery towards the center from the periphery means from uh, see uh, the order of opening of flask is center first the older flask will open then the anga flask so that is the very important features of racemos inflow example cisalpinia pulcherima this is a classical example you can see this is the beautiful flower of cisalpinia the scientific name is cisalpinia pulcherima i repeat so what is the features of the racemos inflorescence which is also called as what indefinite or indeterminate type of inflorescence where the peduncle shows indefinite growth usually peduncle do not end in a flower and the older flowers are at the base and the younger flowers are at the top such a type of arrangement is called as what acropetal succession and the order of opening of flowers is centripetal right then the example you can give is cisalpinia now let us study the types of uh, racemos inflorescence so there are different types of racemos inflorescence like we have this simple raceme spike and catkin and even spadex also spy simple raceme spike then catkin and spadex now let us study one by one so what are the types of racemos inflorescence one is called simple raceme the other one is called as spike then catkin and uh, in the next slide you can see the spadex now let us study one by one what is this simple raceme this is a simplest type of raceme racemos inflorescence so what are the types simple raceme spike spadex and catkin what is simple raceme this is a simplest type of racemos inflorescence where the peduncle on which number of pedicellate flowers are arranged in an acropetal succession as i said acropetal succession means what here you can see the older flowers are at the base and younger flowers are at the top here you can see the older flowers are at the base and the younger flowers are at the apex so simply this is a simplest type of racemos inflorescence where the peduncle on which number of pedicellate what do you mean by pedicellate flower suppose the stalk of a flower is present it is called pedicellate if the stalk of a flower is not present it is called sessile so this is very very important words pedicellate flower then the other one is called sessile flower what do you mean by pedicellate flower what is pedicel the stalk of a flower is called pedicel if the pedicel is present in a flower it is called as a pedicellate flower if the pedicel is not present it is called sessile so here pedicel present here pedicel absent here present here absent very very important point to be noted because when you go for this families when you write the floral formula these are very very important points to be noted so what is simple raceme this is a simplest type of racemos inflorescence the peduncle on which number of pedicellate flowers are arranged in an acropetal succession example you can take is crotalaria gentia then spike what is spike here you can see the beautiful picture of acaranthus aspira so it has peduncle on which number of sessile flowers here you can see the sessile what do you mean by sessile here sessile means without pedicel or without stalk so here sessile here pedicellate here you can see the stalk stalk of a flower here you can see the stalk here you can see the stalk here you don't find the stalk so without stalk you call it as sessile flowers with stalk you call it as pedicellate flowers see how beautiful these terms are we do have we ever observed all this carefully when we see a flower no just we see a flower just appreciate the color the beauty of a flower but have when you make a keen observation being biologist all these things should be observed carefully then only you will be able to learn right so what is spike it has peduncle on which number of sessile flowers are arranged in an acropetal succession that is also uh, here you can see the older flowers are at the base and younger flowers are at the apex so this is base and this is apex here also 
acropetal succession older flowers are at the base younger flowers are at the apex so the from base to apex right in cymos from uh, apex to base so here it has peduncle on which number of sessile flowers are arranged in acropetal succession example you can take is acheranthus uh, aspira moving on to catkin it is also called as amentum and it has a spike with a long and pendulous axis which bears unisexual flowers here you can see the fruit you can see but the flowers uh, you cannot see here that is mulberry morus alba the scientific name so scientific name should not be put in bracket right mulberry morus alba so catkin it is a spike with a long and pendulous uh, axis which bears unisexual flowers that is example mulberry, mulberry that is morus alba so what are the three types of racemos inflorescence one is simple raceme spike catkin and in the next slide we are going to deal with uh, what is that uh, spadex so what is uh, simple raceme it is the simplest type of uh, racemos inflorescence the peduncle on which the number of pedicellate flowers are arranged in an acropetal succession moving on to the next type that is spike it has a peduncle on which number of sessile flowers are arranged in an acropetal succession example is acheranthus aspira then catkin it is a spike with a long and pendulous here you can see the long and pendulous these are the fruits which bears unisexual flowers example mulberry then moving on to spadex next type of racemos inflorescence. i think all of you might have observed coconut flower i think many of you would have uh, in your house you will have your coconut tree and even on the uh, in in the garden like you might have come across the coconut tree have you ever observed the flowers of this coconut if not please do observe and you can see the beautiful flowers even in this picture what is so special about this padex i think all of you might have observed there is one covering bract like structure it's a covering and it is mainly designed by the plant to protect the flowers as you know flowers are the reproductive structures of a plant body which are very very important so as a means of protection it is covered over by a flag like structure and that is called as a bract so let us see what is this it is a spike in which the ped peduncle is thick and fleshy bearing sessile unisexual flowers here it is unis male is separate from you have female and in acropetal section older flowers will be at the base. and the entire inflorescence is brightly colored by a bract called spathe this is what here you can see the spathe this bract like structure so and example you can see banana that is musa paradisica and even in coconut called cocos nucifera so as i said never put the scientific names in bracket here it is put but it is wrong right now only the common names should be put in bracket so according to the binomial nomenclature let me explain once again about the spadex spadex is a type of racemos inflorescence in which the peduncle is thick and fleshy bearing sessile sessile means what without stalk and unisexual flowers what do you mean by unisexual it is not a bisexual flower unisexual means the sexes are separate in an acropetal succession the entire inflorescence is covered by a large beautifully colored bract called spathe have you ever observed even the banana flower it is beautifully colored by red color covering and that is nothing but called bract or spathe and you know inside you can see the flower so when it opens you can see one one layer you can see the flowers being open and the fruit being formed have you ever observed the banana fruit definitely myself i have a banana tree in my house in my garden and uh, usually i observe that you know such a beautiful uh, uh, flower it is right you can see the color right so it's called spathe banana that is even in colocasia then coconut that is cocos nucifera then moving across to the crom here the peduncle is comparatively short and the lower flowers have, have longer pedicel and the younger flowers will have shorter pedicel as a result almost all the flowers are brought more or less to the same level i think you will understand better when i draw the diagram and explain see here the older flowers see here the older flowers see almost this is the older flower and this is the younger flower so more or less they, they see this is having a long stalk long pedicel and this is having a short here you can see in a uh, like in a bunch of flowers you can see here it is short 
పడేసి సో హియర్ ద పెడంకల్ ఇస్ కంపారిటివ్లీ షార్ట్ and the lo lower flowers will have longer pedicel and the younger flowers will have uh, shorter pedicel as a result all the flowers are brought more or less to the same level example cisalpinia pulcherima so this is about the special types of that is the types of uh, racemos inflorescence padex and crown moving on to the next type called umbel and one more called head dot capitulum i think all of you might have observed onion flowers right have you you know it is like a globose head in flower like you know a bunch of flowers see here how beautifully the onion flowers are right now let us see what is it it is called as what it is called as umbel what is it here the peduncle is comparatively short this is called peduncle it is short it is not too long it is short and the flowers are born at the tip of the peduncle in clusters here you can see the flowers are born in clusters which uh, have pedicels of almost equal length so all the pedicels are, will be of equal length example allium sepa that is onion what is umbel here the peduncle is comparatively short and the flowers are born at the tip of the peduncle in clusters which have pedicels of almost equal length you can see the beautiful picture of onion flower right so this is called as umbel this is called as umbel moving on to head or capitulum have you ever observed i think even you might have come across the touch me not plant you know it is globose head inflorescence it is called globose head what is so very unique about that flower you know it is like a ball here also you can see it is like a ball there also that is even touch me not plant also you can see there right so head or cap have you ever observed sunflower what is the uniqueness why it is called sunflower it has more affinity towards sun so it will usually bend towards the sun hence the name sunflower so it comes under what head or capitulum inflorescence now let us see what is the uniqueness of this head or capitulum inflorescence in this type the thalamus has flattened so what is thalamus the the cup like structure or the receptacle which holds the orals of a flower is called as thalamus so here the thalamus will be condensed flattened structure called receptacle on which this is called as ray florets florets means flowers florets means flowers here sunflower will have two types of flowers one is called the ray florets the other one is called the tube florets tube florets so the one which you see here this is called the tube florets and this is the ray florets here you can see ray it is like this so it is called ray here you can see the tube like structure so they are called as tube flowers so this is very uniqueness which you come across two types of flowers where the thalamus is condensed into a flattened structure having two type of flowers that towards the periphery is called as the ray florets and that towards the center is called as tube florets so head or capital mean this type the thalamus has flattened structure called receptacle on which ray florets and the disc florets you can also call it as disc florets tube florets or disc florets are arranged example sunflower and tridax right hope you might have come across we have used this for taking the sections to study the anatomy of a dicot stem we usually make use of a tridax tridax belongs to head or capitulum inflorescence moving on to the next type of racemos inflorescence that is umbel so umbel here the peduncle is comparatively short and the flowers are born at the tip of the peduncle in clusters which have pedicels of almost equal length example on it so here you can see the beautiful picture head or capitulum in this type the thalamus is a flattened structure that is called receptacle on which there are two types of flowers one is called the ray florets the other one is called the disc florets example sunflower moving on to the next type of inflorescence called cymos inflorescence are you all not happy uh, how beautiful the flowers are particularly when you come across the racemos uh, type of inflorescence see how beautiful the flowers are designed see the variety of flowers we come across see the nature of the flowers so moving on to the next type that is cymos inflorescence cymos inflorescence is also called as what determinate or definite 
type of inflorescence here the main axis called the floral axis ends in a flower there it is not in racemous inflorescence the main axis will not end with a flower here the main axis of a flower called peduncle what do you call the main axis of a flower as peduncle stalk of a flower is called pedicel the stalk of a single flower is called pedicel the stalk of a bunch of flowers or cluster of flowers where we use the word called inflorescence is called as peduncle so this is also called as determinate or definite type of inflorescence where the main axis called the floral axis will will end in a flower now let us see what are the features of this cymos inflorescence here the peduncle shows definite growth there the peduncle shows indefinite growth here it is showing the hence the name what definite type of inflorescence here the peduncle ends in a flower as i said the peduncle ends in a flower older flower at the apex and younger flowers at the base hence it is called what basy petal here this is called older flowers here this is the younger flower this is called basy petal succession in racemous inflorescence it was acropetal succession what was at acropetal here the older flowers were at the base here the older flowers older flowers are at the top younger flowers will be at the bottom so here the older flowers will be at the top younger flowers will be in the base this is from base to apex in racemous inflorescence the arrangement of flowers is from base to apex older flowers are at the base and the younger flowers are at the apex here from apex to base older flowers are at the apex and younger flowers are at the base and such it is called basy petal succession the order of opening of flowers is centrifugal that is the older flowers will open first and then the younger flowers example jasmine and hibiscus i repeat what are the features of uh, cymos inflorescence the peduncle shows definite growth peduncle ends in a flower older flowers are at the apex and younger flowers are at the base development of flowers is basy petal succession and the order of opening is centrifugal example jasmine and hibiscus now let us uh, we have studied about the features of cymos inflorescence now let us study the examples solitary cyme simple cyme and monochaseal cyme what are the examples one is called solitary cyme simple cyme and monochaseal cyme now let us study one by one what is solitary solitary means what single solitary cell means what single cell in jails and all now they put single so it is like solitary solitary means single so what is this it is a simplest type of cymos inflorescence where there there is only single flower at the tip of the peduncle it may be axillary or terminal what is solitary cyme it is a simplest type of cymos inflorescence where there is a single flower at the tip of the peduncle as i said the tip of the peduncle will end with a flower hence the name definite moving on to simple cyme in this type the main axis ends in a flower that has two bracteoles from the axil of uh, each of a flower develop example jasmine it is called simple cyme that is called solitary cyme and this is called simple cyme. mono chase mono means what single in this type the peduncle ends in a flower and then produces single lateral branch in the axil of a bract which also ends in a flower example hemelia patens here you can see how it is ending so in this time the peduncle ends in a flower ends in a flower uh, it, it then produces single lateral here you can see the lateral uh, axil of the which also ends in a flower that is hemelia patens so what are the examples for uh, cymos inflorescence one is solitary cyme example hibiscus then simple cyme example uh, jasmine then monochaseal cyme example hemelia patens now dichaseal cyme di means what two mono means single then polychaseal means many now let us take the example of dichaseal cyme here the main axis ends in a flower 
This flower has two bracteoles. From the axil of each bracteole arises a flower. Each of these flowers again has two bracteoles with third set of flowers and the process is repeated many times. So here you can see the example of clerodendron. Then poly means what? Many. Here you can see the beautiful picture. So the main axis here always ends in a flower. From this axis more than two secondary and tertiary. Here you can see secondary and tertiary. What do you mean by secondary? The main will give rise like this. So primary into secondary, secondary into tertiary branches. So the main axis ends in a flower from this axis more than two secondary and tertiary branches are produced. Each of them ends in a flower. Hence the flowers appears in clusters. Example you can take Calatropus. So what is dichasial sign? The main axis ends in a flower. This flower has two bracteoles. What are leafy like structures? It is called as bracteoles. Then uh, from the axils of each bracteoles arise a flower. Each of these flowers again has two bracteoles with third set of flowers and the process is repeated many a times. Example, clerodendron. Polygesial sign, the main axis as you know, cymose inflorescence means what? The main axis ends in a flower. From this axis, more than two secondary and tertiary branches are produced. Each of them ends in a flower. Hence, the flowers appears in clusters. Example, Calatropis. Hope you have understood all the concepts of this beautiful session called inflorescence. How beautiful these flowers are. Definitely we will enjoy having a cluster of flowers, seeing the bunch of flowers or a cluster of flowers in a plant body. And we have studied about the two types of inflorescence. One is called the racemose inflorescence and its types and the cymose inflorescence and its types. So I will be back in the coming session with some more very interesting concepts of this very interesting chapter called morphology of flowering, morphology in flowering plants, mainly the angiosperms. As we know, three-fourth of the plants that we find on this planet earth are the angiosperms. So I will be back in the coming session with some more concepts. Till then, goodbye and thank you.